And welcome back, Wildcat fans. Here we are on this beautiful Monday evening at the beautiful Moore Gymnasium here at Bethune Cookman University in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm here, I, I am Chase Blake, and I'm here with my partner, Leviticus Glover. And today we will bring you the special matchup between the Bethune Cookman University Wildcats What's going and the Alcorn on? Braves. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Uh, I hope all is well. Chase, how you feeling, man? Yo, Leviticus, I'm feeling great. DJ Wildchild has turned us up for the last 40 minutes, and we, man, we've been in here jamming, man. <laughs> Jamming. Yeah, man. It's definitely been a long day, man. A long sure. day. Let's go ahead and get this one in the books, man. And we have a good one against Akron State and the BCU, man. Wildcats. I'm excited for this matchup. Um, number two with the three from Alcorn State. Uh, Chase, I'm excited for this matchup uh, because the, the BCU, man, are coming off an exciting win mm -hmm. against Jackson State Tigers, correct? Indeed, I agree. You know, and that was, man, that was a, a show they put on, a clinic almost, if you will, for the Wildcats, you know, beating a, you know, a high rate team in the, in the uh, MIAC and SWAC, and, and excuse me, SWAC, you know, I'm still, I, I still got that MIAC yeah. mindset, man. A high ranked team in the SWAC, you know, and just such a prestigious school like Jackson State, man, to come out with that win is, you know, is, I think it gave us the momen the momentum that we needed, you know. Ab absolutely, uh, the guys look well. Um, their confidence is there, mm. Chase. Looking at how they're playing right now, how they're coming out the game, they feel like they are definitely feeding from the energy from the game on Saturday against the Jackson State Tigers. Now, let's hope and see if they can capitalize off this win or off from the win from um, Saturday. And Jackson State with the three. Jackson State getting off to an early start. Number three with the three. 11 with the three, excuse me. Now Leviticus, as, now, Leviticus, as we look over, we have our BCU Wildcat band, the prep band, ready to get us going here. So I'm excited to see <coughs> see how, how well they're about to crank it up. <laughs> so, definitely. Number three for BCU Wildcats has the ball at the top of the key. Marcus Garrett coming off a hot game against Jackson State. He's been a, a key player here for the Wildcats. And here we are now. Wildcat ball, 18 minutes left in the first half. Here we are now. A little uh, turnover by Wildcats already. Now, something I've seen pretty well, Chase, is Alcorn State is playing great defense right, thus far. Uh, all those three minutes into the half, they're definitely playing excellent defense. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see where or how long or how consistent they can keep with the pressure. Indeed, indeed. And you know, Leviticus, it's, it's, it just seems like, I guess, you know, defense is in the Mississippi air, you know, because Jackson State had great defense, and here Alcorn is now showing that great defense as well. Absolutely. Number three again. BC Wildcats at the top of the key. And Leviticus, it seems like Coach Theus is already upset for the Wildcats. Jacoby Long looks to be coming in, but let's see who he goes in for. Here we are, Marcus Garrett with the layup, with the give and go. You can't stop me. Mama, there goes that man. Marcus yep. Garrett with the lay for the two. Here we are now, Jackson State pass possession. Number 44, Agnew with the ball in the paint. He passes it back to number three, Justin Thomas. At the top of the key, Justin Thomas goes into the paint. He was the ball in his Wildcats ball. Now, Leviticus, if you're um, all calling Ted coach right now, what are, you, what are you telling your players coming into this game? Say that again. I said uh, if, you, if you're an all coach, what are, you, what are you telling your players? Um, oh, wow. What was the go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that threw me out too, Chase. <laughs> that was y'all. <laughs> and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Leviticus, as we um as we've seen here, you know, what are what are if you're Alcorn's head coach, what are you telling your players right now coming to this game? Uh Chase, from what I'm seeing right now, is again, like I always say, any any time someone's starting up the game, just be patient. Uh you definitely have that nerves going in the beginning of the quarter. A uh, oh, good pass, great pass, and with the block, Alcorn State, big man is not, I don't know, Chase, what is he doing? <laughs> Leviticus, we're trying to figure it out here, but adrenaline, adrenaline seems to be going high right now, you know, it's very, yeah. very heavy. So everybody, everybody, everybody has cotton mouth, everyone has, majority either has dry mouth or just nervous, and they're just trying to work that nerves out. So I'd say at the beginning for Alcorn State, man, uh, just calm down, pretty much. It's just it's, the message is pretty simple: calm down and play basketball. 
I agree. I agree, Leviticus. And it, you know, I can just feel the high energy and high the, the high energy in this gym today. You know, and you know, it's just it's easy to take the energy and to put it in the places that don't matter. You know, so it's important that you know both Wildcats and our Braves here put it into you know the game. Absolutely. Uh, this is Chase. This is this is a great game. This I think it's going to be a great game, Chase. I Indeed. really do. Indeed. So I'm excited to see. Timeout. The timeout taken by Alcorn State University. That's 15-56. Left in the half. The score is 4-3. BC Wildcat men up by one. Now, Leviticus, tell us, tell us, tell us what you see here so far. Uh, for the most part, just Alcorn State is just not being um, patient. And that big man, come on, man, grow some balls, man. Take it to the paint. Flush it. But for the most part, <laughs> nah, but for the most part, um, yeah, man, it's just because he's getting great. He's getting number 44, Agnew, is getting great looks inside. He's just not capitalizing. Um, it seems like it's as if he's looking for a call and not worrying about finishing, Chase. The only thing I learned when I was using, when I used to play basketball is don't worry about the foul. Just get the bucket. The foul will take care of itself. But when you're looking for that foul call, you're more times than not going to get it. So it's time. It's, it's just it's time to grab. I don't want to say it, but it's time to just, you know, get yourself together and start to play basketball. It's time man. to grab your nuts, man. There you grab go. your nuts. You read my mind. Grab him and hold him. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are now after the timeout. Our Wildcats ready to get back at it. Pretty much. Now, Leviticus, if you're the Wildcats head coach, what are you telling your players coming out of the timeout? We said Wildcats. If I'm Wildcats, uh, continue to do what we're doing. Be patient. As you see, number three, he's being smart and being very patient. He sees that there are uh, Alcorn State defense is definitely overreacting to the offense, mm. which is creating openings for him, mm. in which he has the first two straight buckets for the BC Wildcats. So... Well, let's see what Alcorn can get going here right now. Number 15, top of the key pass to number three. Number zero, pump fakes. Number 15, drives it to the paint. He passes the number – he pump fakes. He's, he pump fakes again, number five, shoots, and it's no good. And the rebound is grabbed by number 22 for the Wildcats. Joe here Fritz has Joe the ball. He shoots, and it's no good. He can't connect, but that is first shot of the game. Second shot connects. Joe Fritz. And here we are now, Joe French also coming off that amazing game for Jackson State. And here we are now, Alcorn with the foul. He could not get, and I'm sure he wanted that one, but he got the second one, number 11. And here we are now, Wildcats trying to stay out of foul trouble. Yeah. We got to be careful of that, Chase. Now, look at it, it's already, it's, it's only 15 minutes left in the first half, you know, so that's important that Alcorn stays out of foul trouble. Here we are now. Alcorn takes possession. We're five, number 11, top of the key. Pump face. He drives. He pulls up and is no good. 22 guys to rebound. Number three. Lobs it down to court. Number 12. Big Bang. He gets the ball in. He pump face. He dribbles. And what are we doing, Wildcats? It seems like there's been a disconnect between the Wildcat offense. Now, Leviticus, it seems to me as if he just watched that ball go over his head. Um, I understand why the coach is mad now. <laughs> I get it now, yeah. I get it. Now, Leviticus, if, if you look down at the Wildcat bench right here, it seems like there's more players than usual. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, Chase. <laughs> maybe it's recruits or maybe, you know, managers. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably managers, yeah. But majority, a lot of them players are red shirts, and we'll probably see them next semester. And number three for Alcorn State with the bucket. The score is currently 6-5 to five with the BC Wildcats up by one. But yeah, Chase, um, the majority of the bench could be red straight freshmen. And the foul is called for number 12. Again, Chase, that goes back to not looking for the foul call and wanting to get a bucket. Indeed, I agree. And here we are now. At the line, we have Kevin Davis. Also coming off a fantastic game against. Also, actually, he was actually the leading scorer for Jackson State. I mean, for a Wildcat. I mean, for the Wildcats against Jackson State. Yeah. He came out. He came out with I think 18 points. <laughs> Solid game. Yeah. Solid game. Excellent. Exceptional game. As the young folks would say, he went off. He's teed up. He had a game. 
Here we are now. Davis can't connect for the second one. All corner possession. Number three has the ball. Number three, Justin Thomas at the top of the key. Number zero at the at the end. Lenny Harry with the post up. He's phased. He shoots and it's no good. He can't connect. Number five, rebound, rebound, and the the second rebound and it's still no good. The crowd chuckling, giving all corner run for their money. Marcus Gary with the ball here, Wildcat possession, and he, he takes it. And it's and he's one. And one. Number three, that is at the end one. Marcus and one, Garrett does it all for the Wildcats. Man, he's amazing. And he'll go to the line to take one. That is what you call basketball. He's coming out hot, Chase. The game is looking pretty well for him. I, I'm excited to see what he is going to do down the road. Indeed, I agree, indeed. He'll go to the line and take one. You know, Marcus really showing us that he's that key player for, that the Wildcats need this season. He's that, that core piece, mm. as the point guard should be, though. And you know, Leviticus, I'm also excited to see Mr. Collins Joseph get in the game today as well. Oh, man. See what he'll do. We got to we give him a nickname, Showtime or something. Ten, Number three, you, Justin you know, Thomas at the top of the key. <laughs> Leviticus, I got, look, look, I got it. All right, what? Ten piece hot. <laughs> uh, number five with the three. He shoots and he scores and he's heckling the crowd back. He's talking back to the crowd. The crowd is talking back to him. Number three with the ball. High step. And he passes. Kick ball. Kick ball. But yeah, Leviticus, I think Colin Joseph's name from now on is going to be 10 piece hot. 10, ten piece hot. 10 piece hot. Yep. Good luck, baby. All right. And here we are now, 13 minutes left in the first half. Wildcats 10. Number three has eight. the ball. Joe French has the ball. He pivots, he jabs up, he passes back to number three at the wing. It says the pick. Good pass. He swings. He sh Can I get the foul, please? No foul call, but a turnover by Wildcats. Here we are now, Alcorn ball. Alcorn number five has down. the ball. He's going to shoot another three, Chase. Leviticus, he is not afraid to let that thing go. Another rebound. Look how scrappy this game is, Chase. It's Very scrappy. Relax. Wildcats, relax. Thank you. Calm the game down. Run the sets. Here we are now. Wildcat ball. Marcus Gary with the ball. Just off the big bang theory. And, and he travel. does it. And one. The, call, the travel there. The travel there, Chase. And he'll get a travel call. <laughs> Leviticus, here we are now. Jacoby Long is going in the game. Seems to be he's going in for out of all people. Why would you take out Marcus Garrett? I don't know. But he, he may need a break. He, he might. He, he, he going at it. But no doubt about it, Jacoby Long definitely has, has held his own on Saturday as well. Being one of those key players that the Wildcats needed. Shout out to him. And Leviticus, as you said, this is a very gritty game. Very. Wildcats fighting hard on defense here. Now, now Alcorn, Alcorn State is starting to get their, their groove a little bit. They're being patient, running their offensive sets, being patient. Ooh. Shot is forced, but Adam gets it back and gets the bu put back bucket. Leviticus, it seems like Alcorn has been capitalizing off these second chance opportunities. Absolutely, Chase. Here we are now, Wildcat possession. Off the McIntyre has it. Joe French Chris with the three. And it's no good. Can't connect. Here we are now. French trying to warm up in this game today. And here we are now. Alcorn ball. Alcorn right into the play. And here we are now. Another turnover for the Wildcats. Long down the court. And he'll take it. And he can't and get the foul. The dunk. But Kevin Davis with the second chance dunk. With the put back dunk. Davis now three points. The crowd's into it. Wildcats 12. Pick it set for number three at the, t at the top. He brings it back out. Patience. Patience is key, is key for Alcorn. Just be patient. Look, don't force it. And Alcorn can't get anything going here. Wildcats have that pressure defense. Bad here pass. Now. Wildcats take it all down. Kevin Davis. And he can't get the foul, but they hey! second chance. Big Bang Theory with the slam. The jam, bam, wham. 
Big Bang Theory doing Big Bang things. That's what he does in Vegas. That is what he does. On his head. On his head, as On the young folks would say. On his head. <laughs> as they would say. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are now. The crowd into it. All coin ball. Number five shoots and this. No. The bit is he's been letting that thing go all night. And when he warms up, though, it'll be something to, something to pay for for sure. That's what I call strength right there, man. That's what I, That's how you go to the paint. That's how you get the foul. You go up strong. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll, we'll have a timeout here. It's a crazy game already, Leviticus. Ten minutes left in the first half. Wildcats 14. Alcorn 10. Good. Yes, sir. Hey, they, them boys turned up for sure. Here we go. Okay, Let's do it. Coming and, back in. And welcome back, Wildcats. Here we are after our timeout. Like we said, 10 minutes left in the first half. Wildcats 14, Alcorn 10. Here we are now. Number 44 for Alcorn. We'll take two here. <laughs> I just really tried to do that. And he'll connect for the first one. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Wildcats. He'll take his second right here. Let's go, Wildcats. Bum, 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 bum. Wildcats. And he'll take two, and he connects. All righty. Number three has ball. the ball. Number 12 has the ball. He passes back to number three. Alcorn playing. Passes back to number 12. Pressure defense. Here we are now. He's back in the corner, number five. Number three has the ball at the top of the key. Oh, man. Number two with the ball at the top of the key. Dang. <laughs> number three at the top of the key. Don't know what to do. 12, he shoots. And it's good. And Kevin, it is good. Kevin Davis with the bust him down three. Here we are now, all court ball. Number five takes it with a strong take. And, and he'll muscle it in for the two. Leviticus number five is heating up now. And once he gets in his groove, I can tell he's unstoppable. Absolutely, Chase. Number three at the top of the key for the BC Wildcats. Marcus Garrett has the ball here. Wildcats trying to make something happen. He'll take it off the French. Alcorn with the strong double team. Davis takes it again. And it is no good. He can't connect. But the Number 12, he rushes in and he passes it. And he go. Oh. And the buck is no good. Number 21 is no good. And Alcorn will take it here. Here we are now. Alcorn. He'll take it. And it is good. good. Leviticus, I said it. I knew it. And with the foul. With oh. the foul. Offensive foul. It's an offensive foul. No basket. No basket, no ma'am, no ham. No blam, jam, wham. Alcorn will not get the basket. And that'll lead in the turnover for the Braves here. And the Wildcats will take possession. And Alcorn putting a new set in here. Big Bang Theory will sub in for Mr. Davis. Davis having a game already. Here we are now. Marcus Garrett takes it up the court for the Wildcats. Number three has the ball at the top of the key. Here we are now. Garrett with the ball. He does a spin move. Jacoby Long with it. Garrett trying to figure something out. Alcorn with that pressure defense and a turnover. Here we are now. Number five takes it. And he takes it. And, and the end one. And one. Number five is heating up. For Alcorn State. Number five getting into the groove. Number five is heating up. The crowd hates him, but he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chase, you starting to look like Cheeky, dog. <laughs> I got all my jewelry on, Leviticus. I'll own it. Ball, ball. Get the beat go off. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the crowd booing number five, ladies and gentlemen. But it seems like it's making him better as a player. He's feeding it. It's feeding him. It's feeding him. <laughs> he's, he's, this is the opportunity to tie the game. Here you go. And, it's and he'll connect. Good. Score is 17-17 with eight minutes and 42 seconds left we in the first half. We now have a game. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is a crazy one here at Moore Gymnasium. Man, oh, here we go. Ten piece hot will take it up the court. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> here we are now. McIntyre with the ball. He'll motion it off the frame. He shoots it. It is good. And he'll bust one. Leave him open. You cannot leave him open. You cannot leave him open. Can't leave him open. I don't know why they take it for granted, but they should not. You shouldn't. You cannot leave him open at all. Joe French will definitely capitalize off those threes. Here we are now. Alcorn with the ball. Number five heating up. Uh oh, number 15, he drives in. And he manhandles himself inside, Chase. With the muscle. The Vegas, you know what they say. Weight room. Weight room. Here we are now, 10 feet high with the ball. At the top of the key. Pass it off to McIntyre. Number five. McIntyre has the ball at the top of the key. He passes back to 10 feet hot. 10 feet hot pump face. He throws it inside. And it's a good bucket inside from Big Bang. Big Bang. Pause. With the layup. <laughs> <laughs> Number 15 at the top of the key. Here we are now, seven minutes left. Whoa, that was a fast ten minutes. Seven minutes left in the first half. Number five at the top of the key. He pump fakes. He, he shoots. And he let that thing go. Leviticus, he is very comfortable as we can see. With the heat check. He's heat check. Checking ten, the heat. Ten piece hot with the ball. Let's see what he does here. Here we are now. McIntyre with the easy layup. Yeah, with the bucket. And he'll exchange. Bryson Tiller exchange the arm. I've been waiting for you. McIntyre. Been for me. Number one at the top of the key playing great defense. 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 Joe French is going. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Jeez. What? <laughs> he had it on the rope, didn't he? Here we are in the Alcorn. Wildcats wrestling with the ball here. What the heck? It's been a physical game. And it's a jump ball. We have the baby cousin. <laughs> you cannot tell me you look like the baby. <laughs> Wildcats getting all the calls today. Hey. The game is definitely in our favor. There's a timeout. Timeout by the Wildcats. The score is currently six. The score is currently 24-19 with BC Wildcats up. It's six minutes and 37 seconds left in the game. Yeah. 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 Let's go, yeah. Wildcats. Yeah. I can't hear yeah. you. Yeah. I'm yeah. talked up on this beautiful yeah. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. And we're here with you all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Yeah. 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 Uh-oh. One, One, two, two three, three, four, five, six. Hey. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, 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 Oh, oh, oh man, Lord. Man. You can't tell when she's going to stop. She's going fast. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. hey. Hey. Yeah. I'm going to hit my walk. I'm going to hit my walk. Wildcats, hit your walk right now. Let me see you do it. If you love the Wildcats, hit your walk. Let's go! Hey! 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 Well, I can't teach you. Hey, look, hi, go, hi, go. Hi, go. That little, that little. I think you go like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Wildcats! <laughs> Our fans are into it. We're into it. It's always a great time at the Great Moore Gymnasium. And here we are now. Now, Leviticus, if you're Alcorn, what are you telling your players coming off this timeout? Um, man, the it's, it's like they're having issues when they're, when they're not being patient. But when they are patient, things start to go their way. So continue to stay patient. Take the open shot. So if you don't have an open shot, don't rush it. Pull it back out, and let's find a better shot. I agree. I agree. And here we are now. Wildcats. Ten-piece hot will take it up the court. He'll pass it off to French. Oh, he won't. Yes, he will. Here we are now. McIntyre with the ball. Back to French. Back to 10-piece hot. Joe French drives in. And that turnover. I'm 15 running down the court. Alcorn with that tight defense. And here we are now. Alcorn in high possession. 
Cross court pass number 11. He shoots, and it's good. Woo! Yeah, I can't be mad at him because they left that boy hey. wide open. He was wide open. Alcorn wide State open. getting a little talkative to the crowd, man. Alcorn fighting back. Pass the ball to Kobe. Here we are now. McIntyre. Number five, he crosses over McIntosh. Pass the big bang. And here, on his oh, head! Oh, 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 on his head! On his head! On his head! Big bang with the dunk on his head, ladies on and gentlemen. On his head! Electric as it can get. Oh, wow. Man, oh, man. Here we are now. All court ball. On his mother freaking head. This game is getting hectic. He exposed him, Leviticus. He exposed him. 15 passes. Number 44 passes. He reels, He turns. And he gets the. Nope, no he good. But he gets the rebound. All court all about that second chance. And we have a jump ball. And it's a jump ball. On his head. Chase. We got a game. We got a basketball game. Big Bang Theory doing Big Bang things. Man. I mean, he threw it on like that was a grown man dunk. I mean, he, he just. Damn. <laughs> what they say? You got dunked on. <laughs> <laughs> you got dunked on. <laughs> Let's Dang. go Wildcats. He got dunked on. Why is Big Bang out of bounds? I don't know. His foot is out of bounds. Big Bang doing it all for the Wildcats. You got dunked on. <laughs> How you say it? You got dunked on. Yeah. You got dunked on. Uh, 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 uh. You got dunked on. Indeed he did. Indeed he did. Here we are now. All corn ball. Oh, and a still? turnover. Oh. McIntyre getting aggressive. I love it. I love it. We love the aggressiveness from McIntyre. Our Wildcats are definitely showing up today. And here we are now, five minutes up in the first half. Wildcats 26, Alcorn 22 now. Alcorn here. He jumps in, he shoots, and oh he's inside the backboard. What the? Alcorn just getting a little too excited there. Here we are now, 10 piece hot with the ball. Nobody at the top of the key. He'll Chase slow it down. down. Throws to Joe, Joe French. Joe French at the top of the key. Back to Joe French. To Collins. Number two has the ball, and he goes in, and he misses a shot, and it is Wildcat basketball. Out of bounds call in his Wildcat basketball. <sighs> what all corn state being the last to touch it. The score is currently 26 to 22 with four minutes and 46 seconds left in the half. Wildcats trying to come out the half. Number Ahead 30 crosses over. They chop. They chopping Joe. 10 PC swings it. Let's go with Jacoby. And Jacoby with the second chance. Long. Steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes. Here we are. Steak and potatoes. Barbecue chicken. Here we are in the Alcorn ball. Number 11 pump fakes. He dribbles. Alcorn has been killing us with the pump fakes all night, for sure. A travel call, definitely. A foul, a foul is called on the ground. Excuse me, a foul. I could have, yeah, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought that was a travel, bro. I thought that was a travel. They called that a foul, though. Like, yeah, I probably was, fouled them. That was a travel. That's why everybody yelling. Yeah, they tripping. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd is not too pleased about that call there. I saw it as well. Here we are now, all corner high possession. Number 11. Number with 11 the shot. shoots. It's no good. 10 P's hot uh -oh. down the court. Number one down the court. And one. Uh -oh. Hey, boy, he gets the foul, and he'll go to the line to take two. Man, you leave him out in the open like that. It's very scary. Oh, man, things can go. Oh, Lord. Ten-piece hot. Seems to be hurt. Let's hope he's okay here. And he'll get up. Thank you, Jesus. Cannot lose ten-piece hot. I think, he's hit it. I think he hit his hip or his tailbone. Yeah. That leg, Gary, nothing to play with. That, no. that lower body. Not at all. Now, Leviticus, if you're the Wildcats coach, what are you telling your players right now to try to finish the half off? Continue to do what you're doing. Just continue pushing the pace. See, the thing is, Wildcats right now are flourishing when their the pace is, is up and it's going. So, continue. Let's keep putting the pressure on Alcorn State defensively and offensively and continue feeding off the crowd. It seems like the gym is filling up pretty fast, Chase. Indeed, indeed. Leviticus and as the young folks would say, they're coming in deep. Absolutely. We deep in this bit. <laughs> in this bit. 
indeed they are. The boys' games are always full capacity. And that's what we need from our Wildcats. Support, support, support. Ten piece hot. He'll take two here. And he'll bust the second one. Here we are now. Four minutes left in the first half. Wildcats 29. Alcorn 22. Number third, top of the key. Number 11, number three, top of the key. Number 13 sets the screen. Sets the number zero. He shoots number three at the wing. He shoots. Oh, it is a blow. It is a foul. Come on. Come on. And the ref with the late foul. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll have a timeout here for the Wildcats. Let's crank it up. Crank it up. Crank it up, BCU. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, okay. And here we are now. I cannot let whoa, you go. Whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Here we are now. Take us back to the family reunion picnics. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, now you know. Before I let go, is HBCU Classic, and this is how we do it here at Bethune Cookman. What do we tell you them? You made me happy. Whoa. Wildcats make us happy. It's a blessed day to be alive on this beautiful Monday afternoon that the Lord has given us. I'm blessed to be here. We're all blessed to be here. Shout out to our Wildcats really cheerleaders. Love you. Our Wildcat band, shout out to the you mascot department. Know. Shout out to DJ Wildchild, Mr. Shaw. What Michael Jackson? What Michael Jackson was doing? Leviticus, I don't think that was how it, how, how it went. <laughs> but you're close, though. I definitely will pick you in a dance competition for sure. <laughs> You'd have my vote, boy. <laughs> you have my vote. <laughs> He's a cool guy. <laughs> Let's go, Leviticus. DJ Ron G feeling Donna, himself today. Donna, Donna, Donna. Hey, 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 bring it back. Here we go. Hey, bring it back. Hey, bring it back. Hey, Wildcats, bring it back. And here we are now. We're gonna bring it back to the to the game here. We have three minutes left in the first half. Wildcats 29, Alcorn 22. Here we are now. All corner at the line here. He'll take two. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Leviticus definitely in his zone today. As we all are in this game. Look there at the free throw line. Thomas and one. He's one for two, Chase. One for two. Let's see if we go two for two. Here we are now. He'll take two for all corn. Number three. He shoots and it's good. Two for two. Yeah, yeah. And here we are yeah, now. Wildcat ball. Yeah. Marcus Gary with the ball. He'll take it up the court. <laughs> Number three at the top of the key. He passes to Collins. They switch. They're running the motion office right now. Currently, Chase comes out the pick. Comes out the two picks. He bat. Oh, oh. Put it on the string. With the bucket. And 10 piece hot with the ball. And with the three. Put it on the string. Ten piece hot does it all for the Wildcats. Put it on the string. Ten Number three at the top of the key. Playing defense. Good D. Doing what he does best. Here we are now. All corner with D. the ball. Wildcats with that amazing defense. He shoots. And it's no good. Oh. And over the top. That's what it seems like it's going to be called here. Put it on the string, Chase. That's what you call putting it on the string, boy. That wow, he said. Uh, I mean, that man, that was a beautiful shot. Leviticus, I'm. You already know what to say. <laughs> I left you speechless. That's God <laughs> giving talent right there, for sure. Here we are there, all all corn ball. Let me left at the wing. He, he and hit. Boy, no good. Here we are now. Marcus Garrett with the strong rebound. He'll take it up court, and he'll get the foul. And does a few push-ups at the line. Here we are now. He'll go to the line and take two.
I don't know. He's just so bouncy, bro. Like, scary almost. Garrett at the line. He'll take one. And he'll connect. No, oh, he won't connect, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in an all coin ball. And all coin a little confused here. And he'll go into the stands. So much confusion here in this first half. Here we are in an all coin ball. They'll get it together. They'll settle down. Number three at the top of the key. Oh, okay. I see. He tried it, though. He tried it. He, <laughs> he tried it. No. Oh. And a foul. It's freaking hell. When we stand up, though, you start feeling you feel You start heating up a little bit. Indeed you do, because I definitely am cold in this gym, ladies and gentlemen. It is now 40 degrees in this gym. And we are freezing like popsicles, but we are still here. Blessed to be here. This amazing game being played right now by our Wildcats. And here we are now. All corner take two. He shoots. He's one He'll foot. He'll for the first one. One for two. Yeah. And he'll take two here. Here we go. Let's see if he's two for two. And, and he brings he brings the deficit within five, Chase. Let's see what happens what Alcorn what Alcorn State's do what Alcorn State does in the next two minutes. I can't even get my words together. What in the world? <laughs> Alcorn not letting that lead get too far away from him though, sure. Definitely have stayed in the lead with Bethune Cookman. Trying to keep up as best as they can. Here we are now, 10 piece he high with the ball. And it. Oh, and 10 piece high heating up again. You better start heating up. 10 piece hot again, doing it all for the Wildcats. Here we are on our all corn ball. Oh, oh. And with, with the almost the alley, but the good layup. Here we are now, all corn number 13. Again, if Wildcats, the Wildcats continue to push the pace, it will be just fine. Push the pace, get into the groove, get into your offense. Let's get another bucket. Ah, you rushed it. You rushed it. It wasn't there. He shoots. Seems our corner is getting a little sloppy here. Relax. Be patient. There. I okay. Has the ball. Number two has the ball. He passed it out. Number one. He shoots and it's no and good. Davis. But we get the, the rebound. Oh, nope. Alcorn State has the ball and they push the court. But push the ball down the court. Number three. The ball at the top of the key. He goes for the layup, and it's no good. Collins grabs the ball. He throws it to number three. He won the break. And with the layup. And Gary with the end one layup. 58 seconds left in the first half. Here we are now. Wildcats 35. All corner 28. All corner have possession here. They'll hold it. Collins at the top of the key. And he shoots and it's no good. Here we are on our corner with the second chance. The third chance rebound. Bats it up and with the, the weird bucket. How unorthodox was that, Chase? But he still muscles it in number zero, doing it all for all corn. Here we number are now, 20 seconds clock. left. Go ahead, Chase. I apologize. Shot clock is off. Here we are now, 16 seconds left in the first half. Yo, Wild come out the screen. It. He shoots and it's no good. And French, no good. Here we are on our all corner. And he comes with the bang. All the ball back at the slam, court. Slam dunk. He shoots and for the buzzer. Oh. And that is the half. Ladies and gentlemen, the score is currently 35-32. But the BC Wildcats up by three.